Now, as you think about these laws of prosperity, remember, friends, that prosperity may be as much as 98% mental preparation and 2% outer action. And so we get definite about prosperity so that prosperity can get definite about us. And let's declare it together. I get definite about prosperity so that prosperity can get definite about me. Good. We can get definite about prosperity through prosperous words. And this is a very interesting way to become prosperous. A way to create your prosperity mentally first is by speaking prosperous words. Now we have said here to turn the great energy of your thinking upon ideas of plenty. And you will have plenty, regardless of what people about you are doing or saying. One way that you can turn the great energy of your thinking upon ideas of plenty is through your words. The word utter and the word outer have the same root meaning. What you utter becomes outer in your world. Now sometimes we just don't get definite enough in our words, even when we have known the, about the power of the spoken word. For instance, the lady said that Christmas was coming and she needed more money one time and so she consulted a friend who knew about these, this philosophy and her friend said just declare now that you have plenty to share and spare and say this every day between now and Christmas and so every day for a little while this lady would make this statement aloud I have plenty to share and spare and she said that that Christmas pe people kept giving her fruitcake and she had plenty of fruitcake to share and to spare. But what she really needed was more money, you see. Now she had not gotten definite enough in her words about what she wanted to share and to spare. And so she got plenty of fruitcake, but that wasn't what she needed. She needed more money. And she said she learned from this to get definite about her words. All right, now let's declare it. My words are charged with prospering power. You see, so often our words haven't been. My words are charged with prospering power. Together, my words are charged with prospering power. Good. Your words are charged with a great deal of energy, with a great deal of prospering power. The word utter and the word outer have the same root meaning. What you utter becomes outer in your world. And so if you would have more prosperity come to you. Speak definite words. This helps to bring it about. Do not expect a general success statement to produce a definite specific result for you. The great people of the Bible seem to know about the power of the spoken word and they often got definite about uh, about prosperity. They often got definite with their words. For instance, in the Lord's Prayer, Jesus said, give us this day our daily bread. It was a rather definite prosperity decree. Now, it has been estimated that the spoken word of prosperity can speed up results as much as 80%. And that's the reason that people in this type of prosperity seminar get results within 24 hours. Many of you have already mentioned to me things that have happened to you here. And this is the reason, because we began immediately speaking prosperous words. And it has been estimated that the spoken word of prosperity can speed up results as much as 80%. Most success courses that you attend, you sit and listen to a lot of theory, you see. But when right there in the midst of that a state of prosperous thinking, right then when you begin to speak prosperous words, this can speed up and accelerate results as much as 80%. It is the spoken word of abundance that brings abundance to you most quickly. It is the spoken word of abundance that brings abundance to you most quickly. Now, now I have seen people use these ideas for a long time with amazing results. 
this idea of speaking forth prosperous words every day.